Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer, and this is Richie's rapid review for a game called Piggy Ball. It's actually out on PS4, Xbox, Switch, and PC at the minute. Uh, you probably get it for around the £20 mark. So, what's the back of the box quote? Well, I'd say it's eat, puke, and repeat. What type of game is this? Well, imagine a video game that puts you in control of a pig in disguise as she attempts to suck up tennis balls inside a clam in order to win pearls and open up more areas of the game map all accompanied by a thumping soundtrack and a batshit crazy psychedelic set of visuals with an overtone of Hotline Miami and Monty Python well I think that game is pig eat ball so what did I like about this game? There's quite a bit to like here. This game is a striking visual, totally abstract story of a pig who is told to marry and then goes into hiding by wearing glasses as a disguise and enters her dad, King Cakes, competition in order to win her own hand in marriage. The visuals are striking pixel art and the madness of the game's premise grabbed me immediately. King Cake is a nutter of a character and I loved his opening intro sequence that left me scratching my head at a talking father cake. The controls were mega easy to pick up and the tutorial eases you in nicely as it introduces the nuances of the controls with a well-paced set of challenges to set you up for the tougher challenges to come. The soundtrack to this game is awesome and drew me in immediately whilst I was zipping around mazes, sucking up pearls and throwing up, all whilst listening to a bit of lo-fi along with some reggae thrown in for good measure. The simplicity of the game means that you can jump right in and have a blast and yet there are certain parts of the levels that require a bit of cerebral muscle to work through. The hub world is a hive of oddball activity that I loved looking at just to see fish playing volleyball and the like. The disguises are random and add another level of thinking to how best to complete the level as they add extra abilities to your queen pig. What did I dislike? Well, it's not often that I say this about a game, but this game I feel is almost perfect. I'm struggling to find something I didn't actually like, so maybe I'll just point out that I was a little confused as to where to go next in the hub world at first, but then it all become apparent as you work your way around. Also, this game has the attitude of getting good or going home as it demands you get good in all the initial levels in order to unlock any further levels so you'll be playing levels multiple times in order to achieve this challenge of challenges as you strive for gold so in summary a hidden gem is an overused term in the video game circle and it's probably been diluted over the years but I truly think that this game deserves more coverage due to its amazingly addictive gameplay loop and its daring visuals and crazy story. For around the £20 mark, you'll be getting a game that is heaps of fun to play and lovely to look at, whilst also being head-scratchingly bonkers. It's like the whole premise of the game was a game dev's fever dream, and I love it for that. This game gets a pig-wearing, false moustache, ice-cool rating for daring to be different and succeeding with a plum. Right, I'm off to play volleyball with some cockroaches and then suck up some tennis balls inside a clam whilst listening to reggae. Goodbye my friends.